Okay, this video is to show you how to import packages into your existing project. Now this project's empty because I just created a new one. Uh, in this particular case, I'm working on prototype one. So, so I've got my project sitting open, but really it's just a brand new one. It doesn't have anything created in it. And I'm going to import a project that's already been started. And typically we go to assets, import package, but we can't do that yet because we haven't downloaded the package. So I need you guys to, so first I'm going to show you how to down, uh, download the files from Mr. Grabowski's OneDrive. That's mine, my OneDrive. So first open up, uh, I just went down here and I swapped over to a new tab on the computer at school. And I'm at Coronado's homepage. I'm going to log into Schoology and find the class that is my class for you. And in this case, we're looking at December 15 and 16's folders. And right here it says Projects Files to be Downloaded and then Imported to your project. So I'm going to click on that. And Mr. Grabowski has shared it, so you get access to this folder out on, this is Mr. Grabowski's One, OneDrive, and he created this folder with all of these. And so, if you were just starting the Prototype 1 from the very first video, you would start with this one where it says Starter Files, Unity Package. However, I'm showing you guys how to start the one that says Through Lesson 1.1. I uploaded this project, which goes a little further, and the reason I did so was because a lot of you had already completed up through 1.1. .1. Uh, I think it's like the first eight videos, seven videos, or eight videos. And it gets the vehicle put in, and you get the camera moved behind the vehicle. And so a lot of you lost that on your U drive because uh, I was unaware that the district wasn't um, letting you guys save to U drive. So, I'm going to go ahead and import this one, and you guys are free to do the same so that we don't have to redo lesson 1.1, and then we can start at 1.2. All you have to do is click on it, and it should download it down here. So if I click right here, there we go. Puts it in your download folder. And how do we know that? If we click over here in our folder and we click on this PC, go to Downloads, there it is. Okay, so now that we know where it is, we can simply go back here and go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then we'll go to our Downloads folder. And there it is. And then imp just make sure everything's checked. By default, usually everything's checked. I like to double to click that all just to make sure Import. And I'll show you. So, in our scenes right here, scenes folder, here we are, prototype one, and there's the car. And this is, uh, if I hold down my right mouse button, I can rotate. I'm going to scroll ball back to zoom out a little bit. And then I want to see the camera. There it is. So the camera's been moved, the car's been placed, one crate has been placed on the road, an obstacle, they're called, and the camera's been located. If I click on the camera, it shows me a little camera preview. Oh, it didn't uh, save my layout. On the very last step, he has you guys change the layout. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that because I didn't realize it doesn't save that for you. So here's what he has you do on that very last step. He has you set it to the tall. And then he has you grab the game window view and drag it down underneath so that you can see both the scene, this is where you build, and this is what it looks like when you run the game, like when you hit play. So if you kept them up there together, whenever you hit play, then this window, this pops up and you see this up front. And then when you stop it, then it goes back to the scene tab and then you get to see what you're building and so forth. Um, this window is our hierarchy. This used to be down here. And then this shows all of our project, our assets and our folders. He has us collapse this guy into one column because you can just click open and see everything underneath it. So there's no need to see the second one. So here's the scenes. That's what we just opened up was prototype one. He also had us delete the sample scene. So I'm going to delete that. 
All right, so now we're working in prototype one. And how do I know? Because, okay, this is the name of the product prototype, but then here's the scene that we're in, prototype one. All right, and then we're set. Now, anytime I click on anything in the hierarchy, that's what gets highlighted that I'm, I'm editing. So see that? I can use the little hand, move myself around. I can use my right mouse click. left mouse click with the hand, right mouse click to orbit. All right, then you're ready to start on the next set of videos. So what I'm going to do is show you in today's, uh, let's see here, let's go back out here to my Schoology page, and I put a link here It says tutorials on Unity's website. So I want to show you guys, I have the tutorials also on my, uh, my OneDrive, but I'm going to show you where I got them from and the reason I had you guys watch mine in the beginning was because I had you save a little differently than what he did I didn't want you creating your project on your desktop so but I'm going to show you where you get these and we should start watching them from his and this is why because then you can it's off of YouTube and you can speed it up you have some control over it so right now we just finished 1.1 1 .1. so watch when I click on this and open it up it'll show the sub of 1.1 1 .1. These were all the videos, like I just redid, was customize the interface layout, but move the camera behind the vehicle, locate the camera and run the game, add the obstacle, add your vehicle. So these we've all done. This is all lesson 1.1. 1 .1, and that's finished because that's what I had you guys import. Okay. Oh, and by the way, we need to save this. You should always do a save project, maybe every 5, every 10 minutes that you're working. Uh, if you click this save, what I understand is that it just saves the scene that you're working in. And in this project, we only have one scene. But if you had a larger project, you had multiple scenes. And let's say you did some uh, coding, some other things that are outside of the scene. You just want to save the project. It's best to do save the project. So it's everything. Uh, okay, then let's go back here and talk about these. So since we finished all these, now you're going to go into, I'm going to collapse that back up, open up. 1.2, pedal to the metal, is the name of this lesson. And now notice it opened up the subheading. So we've got an introduction. I'm going to click on it. And really all it does is it scrolls. So all of these are in order right over here. So there's introduction, create the script, that's number two, and so forth. But what's nice about this I want to show you guys is you can, when you're playing it, you can speed it up. I can go over here to the speed, 1.25. 1.5. So you get the idea. All right. And so I'm going to have you guys start watching the videos from now on using this website, which is the Unity website. All right. Have some fun and be sure to come back to the WebEx meeting and ask Mr. Grabowski if you got stuck on anything. All right. Good luck.